Hello, everybody out there on YouTube. We are the middle-aged guys, and once again, we are going to be discussing the Atari, not the Atari box, Atari VCS. Yeah, that's <laughs> what it's called. Because for you really, really smart retro gamers out there, you knew it was called originally called the video game console system instead of the Atari 2600. So they went with VCS, trying to appeal to you as a smart gamer, as a real gamer. Yeah. All right. Um, let's introduce the three guys that they're definitely not appealing to right now. I am the Reverend. The theme here. <laughs> I'm great about one. All right. Uh, <laughs> the Atari VCS. We've talked about this uh, console a lot, and um, we've talked about the concept of this console, what they're trying to push with the with the pre cells of this console, and new information for it has come out just recently. All right. Um, there was a new press release that was put out. Uh, just, uh, let's see here on the April 30th. All right. And, uh, it had a few interesting tidbits, you know, uh, co confirmation when, uh, pre-orders would start and everything else. Um, well, let me just go ahead and get through it. And I, I, I know we'll, we'll know the deal and everything else. All right. So, um, Atari, one of the world's most iconic consumer brands and interactive entertainment producers, Today announces that the pre-sales of the new Atari VCS hardware platform will start May 30th, 2018. And the, the pre-sale is exclusive to Indiegogo and features the time-limited Atari VCS Collector's Edition featuring the special retro-inspired wood front, hashtag real wood. All right. Um, <laughs> in addition to the Collector's Edition, fans will have the option to pre-order <laughs> the Atari VCX Onyx. Onyx a sleek black version. Okay. So I guess that pre concept, you know, black and red version that doesn't exist anymore. They're just going all black. All right. Um, early bird Atari VCS packages will be offered, including the Onyx starting at 199 USD for a limited period of time. Other packages will include the classic joystick and modern controller. And it's wait. <laughs> Other packages will include the classic joystick and modern controller. So are they telling me that at one ninety nine that doesn't include a fucking controller? No, I, I I'm reading exactly what it fucking says. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Time out. What other console has done that? It, it, look, is there any other console on record that has done that, that has just sold a console with no controller to it? I can understand that, okay, it came with controller and no games. Consoles have done that. Yeah. But not without a fucking controller, just a console at large <laughs> for any standard. Just to have a connect. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get what? over that. Do you do we do we wish the the cursor to move? I yeah, oh, I fuck it wait, so what's the price cut for if you're gonna have to buy a controller anyway? I don't know, man. I, I and the thing is is that they say the packages start at um you know freaking uh they they start at one ninety nine, so they probably jump like two fifty, then three hundred on top of that. But yeah, that just no. Ah, uh, okay, all right, hold, hold on. Let let's 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 continue on here, okay? So other packages will include the classic joystick and modern controller. Initial Atari VCS shipments are planned for spring two thousand nineteen. Fans who have signed up for insider email alerts at AtariVCS.com before May 24th, 2018 will be eligible for special purchase incentives during the pre-sale. It's still going through fucking Indiegogo. Wait, wait, wait. Go back what you just said. That last <laughs> yeah, uh, let's see here. Fans who have signed up for insider email alerts at AtariVCS.com before May 24th, 2018 will be eligible for special purchase incentives during the pre-sale. So they're planning... What purchase incentives are they talking about? I I don't know. That's the thing. They, they just... They don't specify. Yeah. 
They don't specify. So when you say something as an incentive, you tell them that okay, it is. Get X, we'll give you Y and Z. Yeah. Well, they 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 want to they want to first see if they can get enough emails to go ahead and and farm out and sell you know on mailing lists to other people to make money off of this shit. So, um, but yeah, that's the only way that people will know is if they sign up for early email alerts. All right. But let's let's continue on, okay? No. The, v- the VCS is a completely new Atari connected device designed in California by Atari. The company has partnered with AMD, who provides the Atari VCS custom processor with Radeon graphics technology. The Atari VCS platform will offer support for 4K resolution, HDR, and 60 frames per second content. Remember, they said content. I'm going to come back to that in just a second. All right. Onboard and expandable storage options, dual band Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 5.0, as well as USB 3.0 support. A complete list of Atari VCS product specs will be posted with the pre-sale. So, guess what? There are there are still no fucking details about what's under the hood. No. Yeah. All what right. The most important thing. What about the G A M E S? Uh, we're gonna cover that in just a sec because they do we mention are? that. They, they do. They will. will mention. Uh, they do mention some of that in just a sec. But the reason why I said, you know, it, when it says, "We'll offer support for 4K resolution HDR and, and 60 frames per second content." Content. Notice they said content. They didn't say games. No, right? yeah, that, that was the point that I made. That's why I made that. Mm. Yeah. That point. Where are the games? Like, yeah. where's the beef? Where's the game? I, I can I can already see it now. The folks who are going to be like, "Oh shit, I could get a 4K gaming box for 200 bucks." No. No. All right. Basically, you're going to get something that says it's capable of streaming sh- streaming 4K content. All right, at like, 60 frames per second. Like YouTube videos. Yeah. All right. <laughs> that you probably already have if you have a modern smart TV or a fucking phone at this point. Well, uh, most most phones don't have 4K, uh, 4K. displays, you know. But yeah, but I, I get your point. Like that, it'll probably be be more substantial than this. True, true. Well, I, I mean, mean the, the Galaxy X is coming out, so maybe they could use that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Let, let's. Yeah, but uh, that, like I said, okay, so they've got a whole bunch of technical jargon and marketing buzzwords and people are like, but Radeon graphics and, and AMD, they haven't said nothing. They've said nothing. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's the whole thing. They, they've said nothing. They're nothing concrete. There's no details here. All right. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. The updated class joystick and new modern controller for the Atari VCS are being developed okay. in partnership with leading video game peripherals maker Power A. Both items will be available in select packages and as standalone purchases. Power A, they're they're not leading. Those yeah, are, but I, I, I heard, know you said Power A. Yeah, they like they make a, they they make a lot of they make a lot of third party uh, uh, third party joysticks and uh, and controllers and stuff, mostly wired controllers. I think uh, one the one the cheapy uh, switch controllers that you can find out there. That are that are like the ones that aren't made by Hori that are less than twenty bucks. Those oh. are all pow- power A's. All right, and they they make a lot of accessories. Okay, um, but that's the the whole thing about that is that you know, like you said, without any games, I, I don't I don't give a fuck about the controllers. All right, um, and also it, it it has to be be it's stated again. Both items will be. Available in select packages and as standalone purchases, so that Onyx package for two hundred dollars doesn't have a fucking controller. All right, that's you know what pretty much what I get from here. If it would have came with a game with no controller, (laughs) well, here's the thing. All right, here's the thing. All right, retro inspired, but not a retro box. The Atari VCS will be fully customizable entertainment experience. This means access to a vast array of games, media, and streaming content options. As an homage to the past, Atari VCS covers the classics with the included Atari vault of more than 100 classic games, including all time arcade and home entertainment favorites like Asteroids, Centipede, Breakout, 
Missile Command, Gravatar, and Yara's Revenge, a growing list of games, especially a full range of popular modern titles, will be announced at later dates. So you're telling me you're going to pack the Onyx up with games, and you're not going to give me a fucking controller. Theme, you hit it right on the fucking head, and you weren't even trying to aim. I was slightly bullshitting when I said that. <laughs> oh, no. No, no. Um, uh, just to say the middle-aged guys are not looking forward to this shit. We're just treating not, it as a novelty for comedy at this point. Yeah, okay. Well, no, no, not... it, no, it had comic effect ever since day one when they announced it. Agreed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's what it is. Look, look, you can polish a turd and it's still a turd. Yeah. No matter what the fuck they put on this thing, it's going to be a turn, no matter what. And then you have the audacity to ask for a two hundred dollars for a for a top set box that <laughs> I think it better with no remote, no get, control, no right. remote, no controller, no way to control the shit. I can get a retro <sighs> pie and have everything that this thing is promising for well under two hundred dollars. Ha ha. No, I'm just saying. Well, no. well, look. Here's here's the thing. Um, you know, I have said in other videos before. You know, if there's if it's a good product, it'll find its own market and everything else. But my biggest reserves ever since like the second video that we've done with this is that the more details come out, the more it becomes obvious that they're not offering any real information on anything. No. Okay, uh, I, I'm going to make this completely clear uh, um, in serious and and in as calm a fashion as i can especially to the folks who think that i'm just hating for the sake of hate all right look every time they release out a brand new uh, a brand new press conference you know pieces of media or other things like that it's either stuff that ends up being really unconclusive or stuff that has a whole bunch of marketing you know buzzwords but doesn't have any actual details about What's in the box? Wait, what it's gonna do? If you were hating just for the sake of hate, then, then you would say no information about it and just say fuck this product and fuck it and fuck it some more. You no, know, this is know, not just the sake of hate. We are details are what we're ripping apart. <laughs> this has been the most. They have released the most ambiguous details I've ever ever heard for something I mean if they're so ambiguous that it, I don't under, how can this even I can't find them let 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 me illustrate for you how oh, ambiguous they're being because this this next this next paragraph completely encapsulates what you're saying. Wait there's more yes okay okay the next paragraph reads we continue moving forward on the Atari VCS project and are excited to see this pre-sale kickoff and share more updates with our fans as we look toward the first shipments. Notes Michael Ertz, Atari CEO of Connected Devices. We are building outstanding teams and forging alliances that will make this product great and truly worthy of the Atari VCS name. Expect hardware partners are helping make this project possible and we couldn't be more pleased with their contributions. He might as well be saying that he's building a wall around Mexico. He's going to make the Mexicans pay for it right now. <laughs> that is about the most fluffy sounding fucking <laughs> piece of dialogue that I, I've ever had. And Grey Mouse, he said it right there. The most ambiguous say nothing. nothing. Yeah, we are building outstanding teams and forging alliances. What are these guys doing? Is this guy like going on the fucking, you know, is is he trying to be part of the fucking fellowship? Is he going to be dropping a ring into a fucking volcano? <laughs> really? All right. You know, forging alliances. Is is he horde or alliance? I, I mean, is he paragon? Or... <laughs> nice, nice. Uh, Come nice. on. <laughs> but, uh, so he's going to find uh, gems to put on his gauntlet. What are they doing? Yeah, you know. Okay, I've never seen such mark so, so ambiguous that even the people that are making it don't even know what it's about. Yeah, that's how they don't even want to give you a controller with one of the consoles. <laughs> that's, that's what I was trying to say. Fail, fail, failure. 
This thing is so yeah. ambiguous that we don't that the makers don't even know what they're making. Oh, exactly. <laughs> He, he he does try to close out strong with Tate. Atari appreciates the community's intense curiosity about VCS games and content, hardware specifications, product timelines, and other key information. Reason why we're curious is because you haven't given us anything, you fuckers. You need to fucking watch our videos and listen to I'm us. Offended. I'm thing. offended. It's not curiosity. It's animosity. Wait, we're Get curious right. about what you're going to put out, the specs, and the games. And what we're going to have. You're giving us garbage that we can't even go about and take seriously. Curiosity. Why, why he, did you use that he, word? He hasn't put his shovel away yet. All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> Production timelines <laughs> and other key information. And is confident that it is putting the right pieces in place for a successful product and launch. All Atari VCS branding and communications channels now reflect the product's official name. Fans can follow Atari VCS on Facebook, Twitter, and the Atari VCS and Instagram. Okay. In fact, on Facebook, they actually they actually released out supposedly video test uh, test footage of them using a prototype. All right. It's only 19 seconds long. And guess what they decided to go ahead and show off? Uh-oh. The design. No. The, the 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 game that they, they decided to don't go ahead and no, uh, don't tell me the Atari Pac Man. No, no. Asteroids. Atari Centipede. <sighs> You're telling me that they did this? This? <laughs> Are you fucking Oh my god, this is one of the games that we played and, and I still play it on that Atari over there. You've There's, gotta be fucking kidding me! You're not even gonna what? Not even with updated graphics? Nothing new? Not even in 4K? Nothing? It's what? it's just 19 seconds worth. No. Yeah. And the thing is that I'm oh maybe you know, they didn't survive. That's why. No, with the the thing is that with with as much as they, they actually show that's on there, they could be they could be running it on an emulator, really. Right. No, because it's only 19 seconds long. Or, I would hit they could, or they could be playing it on the actual fucking Atari. They, the yeah. CRT. You know what they? You know what they should have done? They should have had the fucking AVS or the. Yeah, I, the yeah, I dropped you. Sorry, centipede. Sitting I there, you sitting there and have the the, the the camera pan around to where you see cables and stuff. Look to the TV. Then we'll be like, oh, okay. So, so, that would have been a lot better, yeah. So basically, they took an empty box to the game developer conference, and now they're running Centipede on an emulator on a computer somewhere. And this uh, I'm saying it could easily be that, okay? Because the thing yeah, is, is that... It is. No, no, no. You're not going to get past that accusation until what, it is. until what you do what Grey Mouse just said. It yeah. is. If, when I see the box sitting there with the light on, and cables coming out, going to a TV... Even that could be freaking, quote unquote, uh, uh, fake. Yeah, it could be a Raspberry Pi shoved in a, in a, into a VCS uh, shell. But look yeah. at what the consoles that have done at E3. Now they'll show a close up of the console, and at least there's light to it, and they'll show it how sleek and slick it is, and they'll start naming off specs and shit like that. Mm -hmm. But guess what? Every time they've done that, Microsoft, wait, no, or Sony, guess yeah. what? We here's know proof. that they're going to be motherfucking coming out with games for it. Wait, here's proof. When, when controllers. Was game, when was the game? Uh, when was the game developers conference? March, February, March. Which you mean CES? Yeah. Yeah, that was back in like uh, that was back in February, or March. Okay, so between then and now, May, they have a working prototype now. Because well, they have they something have, that plays centipede. Have a, all they had was a, a fucking empty box at the at that. What if they were playing? <laughs> so now they're telling me. So you're telling me now that you have a you have a working console that could play a, a thirty year old game or a thirty year old game. Whatever. Nineteen eighty two Atari Incorporated. 
Use with joystick controller. You hear that, BCS? Use with joystick controller. You didn't even provide that shit on one of your consoles. Yeah. 200 bucks with no control. Wait, what? I'm sorry, man. This, this, this still, to this point, at this particular point in time, uh, this point, still smells like a scam. No, wait a minute. The, to this point, we were fucked. We said that. Well, no, we saw, we saw through since, the, since we started to get the, the very beginning of it. But I'm just saying, it's still a scam. It's, yeah, unfortunately, the thing about this is that this, you know, I keep on hoping that with each, every time they go ahead and they say that there's new information, that something pops up, something out of, out of everything that they offer, okay, will pop up and will indicate that, okay, there might be a really interesting product that I, that's worth my time behind yeah. this. But with the whole roadmap of everything that's going on and, and with, if you keep in mind other shenanigans that this current form of Atari or this current Atari brand uh, holder has done, especially over the last few months and everything, it just it just raises red flags. You know, it, that's the thing. You know, it's 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 one of those things where it's like, um, if you're this, in a this if you're in a situation, yeah, yeah, this you know, dip, this this flag was dipped all up in crimson. Yeah, this, you know, if if anybody else, if look, if we weren't talking about these Atari VCS, if we were talking about Walking into a, a, a dark and lonely building or house or, or cabin in the middle of the fucking woods, you know, the one with, with the upside down goat hanging, you know, from the fucking rafters and shit like that, you know, people would be like, no, I'm not going in there. All right. I'm <laughs> all right. And whatever, whatever I'm doing, I'm not having sex with anybody in there. All right. Uh, and, and then going off into the woods to pee by myself afterwards, because that's just like a guarantee that I'm going to get slaughtered. All right. Um, you know, the, you're going to have, you're going to have a motherfucker with, with a steak knife, a machete, a chainsaw, a bladed glove and a fucking hockey mask all in the same place waiting to kill me in, in, in that sort of thing. All right. So um, let me ask you guys a question. <laughs> what, what, direction would you go to clear this up the way i would handle it is i'd move it from indiegogo to maybe uh kickstarter to where <sighs> there's something because indiegogo you know like like we told in the previous videos we you don't need a working product to have that on there now yeah, you don't need a prototype for that you, you had to have a, a working product you had to have something to show to put forward that would clear up a little bit of 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 not much because of how far they went with this other one, but it, I think it'd be a, a, a move in the right direction. And to be a little bit more transparent on what's under the hood, what games, you know, I mean, you're, I mean, seriously, like we said earlier, when you were going off all that tech specs and stuff and, and, and all those fe features, I mean, how more ambiguous can you be? I mean, seriously. I mean, I, I think a three-year-old could fucking describe that shit better than what what the CE, the CEO did. I mean, seriously. I mean, what, what would, I mean, how would you, you know, again, <clears throat> but I never wish a product to fail. I, I really don't. But this has failure, fell forward and backwards all they over. They didn't do the studying the pass. <laughs> they didn't take the class. Apparently not. There's no way that anyone should look and listen to any of this and be like, Oh yeah, well, I'm getting that. That's a product that I'm thoroughly interested in buying and putting to the rest of my consoles, and collect a gaming library for. You can't even fucking say that shit because. No, I mean when, when when we first heard of this on our very first video on this Atari thing, Atari coming back, we all had we were all very very skeptical. You, you know, I mean, and and as time goes by, well, has it been a year now? Well, we yeah, it's were been about a year now. We yeah. know that the old Atari is dead. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. Old Atari doesn't exist anymore. You know, so that's why we had our skepticism, and that's valid. And then they're tarnishing everything Atari at this point. Even like the Atari that we knew and loved, they're trying to throw that in there. That's what yeah. that's what is really upsetting me about this. I have Atari that I know and love, and I still fucking play. And they're tarnishing that. So they say, that by saying, "Oh, remember that Atari that you know and love? 
the wood, the black sleekness, the look, the old school feel. And now you can play Centipede on that shit just like you played it on that one. Fuck you. So May 30th is when they're going to take pre-orders. Yeah. So, you know, the funny, the funny thing about this is that, you know, and really not to not to sit there and harp on it too much because I think we've we've said pretty much everything that we could say say about it. All right. Is that well, we could say more. Oh, well, yeah. we we could, but the, the the thing about it is that, you know, it I, I'm looking at this right here and saying, okay, so you know, it says the VCS is completely new Atari Connect device. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Designed but in in California, you know, uh with Radeon graphics technology, AMD, 4K, HDR, and 60 frames per second and stuff like this. Imagine if, if this was a car, all right? <laughs> so the the, the VCS yeah, the VCS sedan is a completely new vehicle <laughs> that's being <laughs> being being designed by our staff in California. It, it it has real wheels, it has really shiny paint. Okay, it has an engine and it goes vroom. That's pretty much how they described <laughs> it. Okay, you said it had real wheels. Yeah, it has <laughs> wheels and it, it and it goes vroom. Okay. <laughs> what about yeah. the interior? Oh yeah. By the way, the the base model is is twenty grand. Okay, and if you if you pre order one of the special edition packages, it comes with your choice of steering wheel. <laughs> Or it comes with a steering wheel. Wait a minute, yeah. motherfucker. This thing no, it comes with no. No, it comes with your optional uh, windshield wipers. Because if you don't get the special edition, you're not going to get the windshield wipers. Yeah, but no, that's, that's like having a sunroof and you have no control over it. Yeah, this is it, it's again. I, you know, I don't want to. I don't want to be mistaken to somebody who's just hating on this for the sake of hating on, it, but. Uh, folks, not. You, you, you if, at this point. folks, if if you if, if you followed us up all the way up until this point, thank you very much. By the way, if you have, all right, um, and if you've seen previous videos that we've had about the Atari VCS, all right, and you've gone through them, okay, um, scathing commentary aside, okay. <sighs> really, un everything that I've read off of their press release, this is on their press release, okay. We will leave links to their press release and the video and everything else, the the media that they've released, all right, and all the information that they released. We'll leave that in the in the description below. You can go ahead and you click on them. You can check them out yourselves. And unfortunately, when you when you try to get to the nitty gritty of the details that are there, there's a lot of fluff and not a lot of substance. Okay, and if after almost a full year of trying to get people fully on board and enthusiastic to go ahead and go through an Indiegogo, start an Indiegogo, uh, you know, crowdfunding campaign in order to get this off the ground. You know, they're still coming to the point where they can't come clean about what, what you're really put, putting your money toward. I don't know what else to say, uh, you know, in warning to that. You know, that's... <laughs> <sighs> Is this way? Is this a separate Indiegogo now? No, is, no, um, no. The the other one never got off the ground. It never started. This is this is their their see, campaign. I kind of see the same thing happening again. Yeah. So, yeah. But hey, look. You know, it'll the it'll start on May thirtieth. Uh, supposedly, if everything goes fine, this will be released sometime in spring of two thousand nineteen, and people will start seeing more information after after may 24th as far as like what they if they sign up for newsletters wait a minute the other indiegogo fell because of what did he say what did no he say? it didn't fail they never started well, they it never started it well, i'm sorry yeah no, so they no. they pulled the plug on it they never held it okay but yeah. they said that one key component right yeah or something to that that verbiage verbiage yeah so we still don't know what that key component is. Actually, according to one of the um, one of the reports uh, from one of the people who went to see them at their their CES booth earlier in the year, supposedly that key component was getting the design for the modern controller down and finished. But it so. doesn't come with a controller. <laughs> I'm I'm completely dumbfounded right now. 
I at least set that base onyx package, but you know, yeah. Well, we'll see what what happens with everything else. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you're one of the people that thrashed Shimu three Kickstarter and you praise this, you and you praise this right here, I'm sorry, but you are totally disqualified for talking about anything relevant that comes with gaming at this point. <laughs> wow, well, I, I will go. I will go that far. If you totally tried to decimate the whole Shimu 3 Kickstarter and you're praising this. No. Just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not even going to pull a, 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 you know, some sort of, you know, competitive analysis for anything like that because the thing <laughs> is, like, you know, just based off the information that we have here, there's there's just nothing that I have that I can be hopeful for right I now. I can't latch so, on to anything. Anything that yeah. you spent the last thirty five minutes talking about, there's zero things I can latch on to as a gamer. As a child a children of the eighties, I cannot latch on anything you said at all. <laughs> <laughs> nothing is interesting. Nothing yep. is interesting to me. Am I going and, to fuck no? I mean, especially especially knowing that that 100 preloaded games that they have, I could spend 30 bucks right now and get get the whole Atari Classics collection, you know, volumes one and two for about 30 bucks for the PS4. We already have them at one form or another. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I'm just saying, even if you're somebody who's even if you're somebody who's looking looking for a way to play that on a modern system on a modern TV, now you don't have to spend 200 bucks for that. No, you know. And that two hundred bucks, you'll actually have a fucking controller that it comes with. They got. Yeah. To, this has got to be the worst marketing campaign I've ever seen. For gaming. Yeah. Yeah, this is a total debacle. I mean, are they completely oblivious that you could go out and 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 go to the the land of of peg legs and and and, and eye patches and and or you could do it the right way, like like the Reverend just said, go out <laughs> and copies. They got Atari Classics on the PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3. I mean, PlayStation 4, four, even. PlayStation yep. 4, Xbox. I mean, yeah. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm completely. Are they that oblivious? Are they that? They got balls of steel. That's all. I, that's the only positive thing I could say. Because anybody who has just a smidgen of fucking common sense and gaming knowledge, they will point at this and say that is shit. Right. Rant over. I'm off my soapbox. I think we're going to end this one right here. Yeah, because I, I don't think there's anything else that we need to say about this that's no. either any more informative or constructive at this point. And nope. Yeah, I, I don't feel like ranting because the thing is, is that there's really the press conference speaks for itself. You know, if, <laughs> if you call it. It that. really does. <laughs> All right. But like we usually say with all of these videos, folks, what do you think about it? Like I said, if you follow us all the way up until this point, I do appreciate it. We all do. Um, leave us your thoughts below on the Atari VCS. Is there something that we're overlooking here? Are we reading too deep? Are we not reading deep enough into this? Uh, if, if you really feel that way, we'd like to hear it. All right. Uh, and if you feel that this particular video is worth it, go ahead and smash on that like button. We'd really appreciate it. If you really didn't like it, you could smash the other button. I, I won't disqualify you for it. Um, and if you really like what, what we're doing here, you want to stick around, I do suggest you subscribe, turn on those notifications, and you'll know whenever we go ahead and we drop out new videos, either as middle-aged guys, all of us together, or each of us on our individual channels. All right. With all of that, um, all this brand new bullshit about the Atari VCS, even though it's pretty vapid and filled with non facts and non information, uh, ends right here. Yeah. I'm the Reverend. The theme here. <laughs> Not great about what? <laughs> Once again, for the benefits of common sense logic and gaming, <sighs> credits.